Hello, everyone. Uh, here is a quick video that shows how you can move your Copilot Studio chat transcripts from Dataverse to long-term storage like Azure Data Lake. Uh, this is a fairly common requirement uh, from a lot of our regulated industry customers like FSI uh, who want to retain these chat transcripts for auditing or for building uh, dashboards or analytics uh, to analyze the uh, chat transcripts. So in this video, I will show you how you can securely do this uh, without exposing your data outside Microsoft Network uh, using VNet Gateway and Power Platform data flows. Uh, for this setup, you will need admin access to your Azure tenant. Um, that's where we would be uh, doing some configuration changes to your VNet. Uh, you will also need access to Power BI, and then lastly, Power Platform to set up the data flows. So there are three key steps uh, for this setup. The first one will require uh, adding a new subnet in your virtual network. Uh, this subnet will be delegated uh, for uh, for the VNet gateway so that it can connect to your Azure Data Lake. Um, next, we will install the gateway uh, using Power BI. And lastly, we will create the data flows in Power Platform to push the data from Data Lake, uh, from Dataverse to Data Lake. So I'm logged into my Azure tenant. And first thing we would do is we would register Power Platform as a trusted resource. So you can do that by going to your subscription. Uh, and if you scroll all the way down, you should see resource providers. So we want to register Power Platform as a resource provider. So you can look for Platform. In my case, you can already see I have registered it, but if you click on it, it will allow you to register. Um, this way, your Azure tenant knows that the traffic is flowing from your Power Platform tenant. Once you have done that, um, the next step is going to be editing um, your virtual network. Uh, this is where we add the subnet. So if you go to your virtual uh, network configuration, um, you can click on subnets and you can click on subnet here to create a new subnet. So in my case, I already have one. So um, you can give it a name. You don't have to change anything else. Uh, if you do want to add any network rules, uh, you can do that here. So it does support uh, things like route tables. But the key thing to uh, configure here is once you have the uh, subnet created, you you need to delegate uh, this subnet to um, VNet access link. So this is the service that's going to use this subnet. Uh, once you do that, click on save. Uh, that should save your uh, subnet. So once we have this subnet created, the next step um, is your data lake. So I'm assuming you already have one. If not, you need to set up a data lake. So you can see uh, I already have a uh, data lake set up, uh, but in your case, if you have al have already a uh, data lake, you can use that, that one, or if you don't have one, you need to create one. So uh, once you uh, make sure you have the uh, data lake set up, the next, uh, thing we would do is install the VNet gateways. And for that, we need to log into Power BI. So this is the Power BI homepage. Um, you can click on the settings um, by clicking on this gear icon. And then if you come down here, you can see manage connections and gateway. Uh, so over here, um, click on virtual network data gateway, click on new and this window or this wizard is going to show up. Uh, you need to make sure you have the right license uh, for Power BI, and then you can select your Azure subscription that we just used uh, for the Azure setup. You choose the 
um, the resource group. So in my case, it's this one. Just choose your VNet um, that you have, and then select the new subnet that we just created. So once you do that, you have to name your gateway. In my case, I already have it set up, uh, but you can give it a name. And then um, you can also do things like uh, load balancing. In my case, I've just created one gateway, but you, you can create cluster if you want to do things like load balancing. So that would allow you to set up the gateway. And then last step would be uh, creating the data flows. So in, for that, you have to log into your Power Platform tenant um, and then click on data flows, new data flows. And here you can name your data flow and just check this box, which will allow you to now select the destination. So in our case, the destination would be the data lake that we have. Uh, and you can select create. So our source is gonna be Dataverse. So I'm gonna select Dataverse. You need to put your Power Platform uh, domain here. So you can see that here. And once you do that, um, you just make sure to select the gateway that we have set up uh, and then just sign in with your account. So from here, if I sign in, um, it will allow me to select any tables that I want to select. So in my case, uh, I will select the table that has the check transcript um, and it would allow me to uh, complete this data flow setup. So these are the three key steps uh, to set up this connections. Uh, and this way um, you can uh, move all the chat transcripts from data words to data like on a, on a set frequency. Uh, if there are any questions, please do let me know. Thanks.